What's up farmers, it's me, Zombear, and I'm here to help you become a better shotgun farmer. In this short video, we're going to arm you with a few must-have tips and tricks that'll have you winning matches and planting patches in no time. Ready for the first tip? Let's go! So the first tip is how to jump on cows in order to avoid getting killed by other players. I'm kidding. The first tip is to always run with your shovel out when not in a fight. Using this big heavy karaket launcher as an example, look how slowly I move around and pass these boxes. Now look how much faster it is when I use my shovel instead. Right? It's a huge difference. It's way faster. Again, with the karaket launcher. Big, heavy, slow. You're an easy target. You're easier to kill. And then again, when we switch back to the shovel, lighter, faster, more mobile, this can make a big difference when you're navigating the map as well. If you have a big heavy weapon out when you're traversing obstacles around the map, you're going to be moving slower, which makes you easier to kill and means you might not get to those power-ups or health in time either. You can notice this difference yourself if you switch between a heavy weapon and your shovel in game too. Try it out. Running with your shovel out also means you can catch up to other players who don't know this trick and smack them. Looks like they should have watched more Zombear. Hmm. Now the Karaket Launcher ain't all bad. It has a few tricks of its own you may not know about. For example, did you know you can do what's called a Karaket Jump? That's right, if you aim downwards, jump first, then fire, you'll get launched by the blast. You can use this trick to blow away other farmers that are threatening your crops. Or you can use it to make a hasty retreat to a different location. Hmm, going up? This same jump and shoot technique can be used with the shotgun as well, though since the blast isn't quite as big as the Karaket launcher, the obstacles you're able to get on top of will be a little shorter as well. Even the quickest of shovel assassins can't match the speed of a well-timed shotgun jump. Just look at this example. Now again, with the shotgun jump. Bam! Get that crop drop! Speaking of crop drops, this also works with the new double cob as well, provided you can hold on to one long enough to use it. Same method as before though, point, jump, shoot, flex. You can also use this as an advanced technique to keep your opponents guessing during a firefight and score some styling kills at the same time. You might be thinking, hey now Zombear, you just wait one minute here. This ain't all about fighting and killing now, is it? Nope, you're right. There's a few weapons in shotgun farmers that can heal your teammates as well as injure your opponents. The first one here is the M6 Bean. Notice how your crosshairs turn green when you shoot a friendly? Here's another example with the P-Volver. I'm able to shoot an enemy, then go and heal my teammates right after. Look how happy they are, they're jumping for joy. The Strawberry can also be used to the same effect, though it doesn't work on barns or on cows. Please don't shoot cows. What it does work on though, is healing your teammates. Even if you shoot them in the butt, they'll still get healed. Zombear, why are you talking about butts when you should be talking about health and power-ups? Yeah, good point. If you see this little bottle of moonshine in your travels, pick it up. You'll get 25 points of health for doing so. And if this big old jug of moonshine crosses your path, it will heal you for 50 points of health when you pick it up. This freaky looking thing is the ghost pepper. If you run over this item, you'll turn invisible for a short period of time, which of course makes you more difficult to kill and allows you to get some sneaky kills of your own. On to shields. This small carton of milk will give you 50 shield points. Its larger friend, the Jug, will give you 100 points or a full shield when picked up. Be sure to grab these items even if you're only a few points down so other farmers can't. Hey now, Zombear, that's mean. Don't be mean to your fellow farmers. Let them pick up the health and the shields. Come on, man. Mmm, no. Speaking of being mean to your fellow farmers, you've got your choice of a few throwables as well. The Mulatov creates a pool of fire to roast your enemies from far away. Or you can short throw by using the right mouse button instead. This can be used to control an area or keep your enemies at a distance, or as a last resort for an aggressive advancing opponent to whittle down their health and make them easier to smack. The same long and short throws apply to the Pineapponade as well, but keep in mind that unlike the Mulatov, as soon as you pull the pin on the Pineapponade, you've got about 3 seconds to throw it or… yeah, that happens. That's all for now, farmers. Let me know in the comments below what kind of shotgun farming tricks you like to use for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content either. And remember, the Bear Fam and I are streaming live on Twitch almost every day. Come hang out and say hi from YouTube. See you on the farm!